Okay, I think we are ready to go. Swap everything over. Is the volume off on my TV? No, it's not. Turn that off, just to take care of the things. I think we're ready to go. So last time we finished uh, both chapters uh, chapters 13 and 14. So now we're on chapter 15. And if I'm correct, book 1 has 20 chapters. Then book 2 has another 20. Or if not 20, just a little bit more than 20. To obtain the Light Sphere and Star Sphere for Goto, Mark and the others headed for Kai Smear, Fane of Ramon. At, uh, uh, at Chiasmir Strait, they entered a fierce battle with the Grustian Sable Order, who attempted to prevent them. Uh, prevent them passing, of course. I hate it when it's just one word off. But once known as the world's finest, the Grustian Sable Order had lost their former glory and were defeated. Now at Ramon, the Temple of Naga, where the jewels are hidden, a new story is about to unfold. So, did we skip a chapter? It feels like we skipped a chapter. Because we're already on the Tiki chapter. Here, let me look. Yeah, there's Tiki. Uh, I know we need Bantu to talk to her. Now I'm curious, did we skip one? I think we skipped a chapter. I'm looking. So let's see. Sable order? Before... Sable... Yeah! We skipped a chapter. Why did we skip that one? Okay, whatever. Anyway. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need our thief. And there's a bunch of thieves over here. Let's see. Oh, another indoor chapter. Oh, we don't need Sheeta, we need Bantu with us. Take a look at what items I can swap around. Oh, caster. You might need a new iron. You might need a new iron. Really low on armor slayers. Okay, hold on. I'm going to deposit this one. Well, I guess I'm depositing both. All of it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, where's Bulgan? There we go. Weight of 15. Interesting. Should it... No, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, there's way more weight on Bulganon. But I can't even uh, equip. I see. I see what's happening. I can't even use it anyway. Alright. Um, you're fine there. Lind. Oh, do I have Elfire? Or do... No, we'll keep Elfire. I, there's not going to be any flyers here today. Uh, Julian's fine. Okay. Mark, do you have extra stuff? Yes, you do. The warp staff goes to Lena, and we can finally use the warp staff again. How fun. Uh, the heal staff, I guess we'll just keep it on Marth and we'll trade it later. Because she's going to need it. 
Agma's fine. Here, let me go ahead and just... We're gonna make some weird trades. There we go. That way the steel's already equipped. Okay, Caster, you need to trade for another iron. Though I don't know if you need it anymore. It's best to have a full set. Navarra's out of armor slayers. I believe that's about it. And Bantu still has men to fortify. To, he's holding on to those. Okay. Save. Let's see. I think we're good. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna make one change. It's called Kane. There we go. Make sure it's not on Worm Slayer to start off with. Alright. Your Highness! Please be careful inside the Fane of Ramon. The goddess of the temple possesses fearful might. She will incinerate any and all intruders. Hmm, I suppose we shouldn't be intruding this sanctuary. But this temple holds the objects that I must seek. We must not try to provoke the temple's guardians. Hey, Juice, how's it going? I will only bring it I will only bring in a couple soldiers with me. Tiki, the great princess of the Naga tribe, which fell into ruin long ago. Use your power to burn the intruders of this holy fane of Ramon. Voice is already going. <laughs> you mustn't forget it. it. Was I who rescued Bantu from Medesa's grasp? Feel a bit under the weather. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Hope you feel a bit better, Juice. And we gotta deal with Tiki. But we could just warp Bantu. The question is... I mean, we can warp Bantu at any time. Do we turn him into a dragon first? And then turn two, we warp him over and have him talk? That way he could defend himself? Is, he should be able to talk while he's transformed, right? Because if he's not transformed, he's he's a he's a dead Durgan. He's a dead Durgan. So let's see. Uh, can, how can we deal with these guys? So attack speed is sixteen. Attack twenty three. I mean, I gotta try something. Because I have to be able to get rid of these guys. I have to be able to get rid of them. Now, I could warp him over and just have him start fighting, because Tiki's not gonna move. I could do that. There's a lot of guys with healing, though. So, mm. this may be a test run. <laughs> what do you think, Juice? Do we warp him now and start getting rid of some of them? She sits on the throne too. She would be. She would be useful. She would be very useful. Test is fine. So I think we should turn him into a dragon. And then turn two, we warp them. And see if we can even talk to Tiki. And if we can't talk to Tiki, well, Bantu will be fighting Tiki. And we'll see if he survives. Talking Durgan form. I mean, Tiki was is able... I mean, she's in Durgan form. And we have to talk to her now. So, you think that would apply. Alright. Again, attack of 23... What is your attack? 14. What is your defense? 
nine. Okay, Navarre will be perfectly fine. By the way, uh, we have a promotion with Castor. It doesn't look like it because we're indoors, but there is a promotion there. Sadly, I missed out on the achievement because of it. Uh, uh, the achievement is just promote a hunter into a horseman, but it didn't specify that, you know, you need to be mounted. So the fact that we were inside, it didn't count, so the achievement got blocked for me. Oh well, it is what it is. But another thing is, uh... Yeah, it is a ripoff. I I noticed that the achievements don't really say much that they are missable. And I read in... I guess the guy who made the achievements made in the comments that, uh... uh he didn't mark any of them as missable because at the time, the only way to do that was just to put, like, a little M symbol. And he didn't like doing that. But now there's an actual, like, marker you could click on, uh, and, mar and he just hasn't gone around to do that. I read in, like, the comments of the, of the page. But yeah, uh, I've read on some of the other ones, like, to, when you're promoting a cavalier, you want to make sure they're mounted. So some of them do specify. It's just that the hunter did not. I think for right now, we'll just do something like this. I think we'll ignore the doors at the moment. Okay. Okay, you need to turn into a Durgan right now. And yes, you're right, Juice. The dragon form lasts for about five turns. Honestly, I like this setup for, you know, tra uh, transformations. If you're going to have breakable weapons, basically, in a situation like this where you can't really buy more, letting the transformation last for a few turns is a good idea. I like that system. I'm not saying it's like how it should be going forward, but I like the I like the concept. Didn't open the door. Why? Yeah, honestly, like I've gotten use out of Bantu due to just uh turning him into a dragon, and then warping him. I have did that, and it's just, like, so fun to do that. All right, we'll test it out. Can Bantu talk to Tiki? Wow, in Durgan form. Awakening is per attack-like weapon, but you can always just buy more stuff. Exactly, like, the fact that you could just buy more of them means that it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's see. Yes, you can. I was looking all over for you. It seems you've fallen under Garnef's spell. Please, wake up. Huh? Uh, Bantu, why? What's going on? Oh, good, you awakened. Are you alright? Uh, what happened to me? It was so scary. It was like I was in a bad dream. I'm really sorry for letting you be so frightened like that. But everything is fine now. From now on, I'll always be by your side. Uh, don't- do you promise? You mustn't- mustn't leave me alone ever again. There we go. Wait, oh no. Why did she untransform? You were playing Awakening yesterday, still haven't beaten it. Well? Awakening's a pretty solid game on its own. Tiki! Why did you do that? 
now I have to waste a turn to... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Her name is Tiki, right? It, it's right there. But if you look here, Divine transforms Manikets, Mumkutets into Divine Durgan. Cheeky only. Translation errors. Translation is inconsistencies. Wow, what a waste. Well then, we got two Durgans here. And Bantu's not that great. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, Agma. Yeah, I know. But I, if I'm correct, this is like the best translation we have at the moment. And it works fine. In-text speeches are slim and neat-looking text, right? Now the text is like bold. I know. Yeah, exactly. Not vo not fully consistent right now. By the way, I gave my healer the boots. Now she has nine movement, so that's just fantastic. Um, right now, I think it's best to just clear these guys out, get rid of all the thieves, because if I remember, if I remember, their plan is to open these doors, and there are enemies in here. So I'd rather, you know, deal with them one at a time. Uh... Kane. Honestly, Kane and Abel are just kind of here. Because they're on their horse, and they're not as good now. Honestly, the whole dismounting thing in this game kind of hurts at least book one, because it's clear book one was not made with that in mind. They really load you up in units. Well, uh, I'm assuming you mean book two. Bontu's level seven and got nothing out of it. That's why you don't rely on him. Well, yeah, in the original FE1, they really gave you a bunch of replacement units, because that game was meant for you to just keep going when someone dies. So they give you a bunch of units that are like, oh, it's Sheeta, but not really. Oh, it's Barst, but not as good. Oh, it's Agma and Navar, but not as good. And, uh, Bantu got a crit. Silver Sword. Oh, if Bantu could just survive this, we're good. Oh, thank you. He needed that crit to survive, because we know he was getting doubled. Level 8. Well, that worked out. I don't think I would rely on that, though. That is not a strategy I would rely on. Uh, there, see? See, that's their strategy. Okay, wait a minute. I think I have a different idea. We are gonna try to... Caster, can you actually get this KO? Attack of 23, attack at speed of 8. You can't double. And he has 7 defense. No. But what about the Silver Bow? Attack of 30. Yes. Come on, Caster, you got this. There we go. Caster is holding his weight. Here, let me turn that down a little bit. Caster is really pulling his weight. Merrick, can you please take care of this? So, let's see. We got six attack speed. No, I can't double. And I don't really want to waste my uh, Excalibur. So what about Elfire? 
Attack at 10. No. Okay. Uh, Lint. With Aura, probably. Yeah, I have to use Aura. Attack speed to 9? 816, no. Attack speed of 5. Definitely not enough. Alright. I have to use Aura. Send him up here. And we can stop this set of feet. We can stop this sleep. And we got, ooh, a thousand gold. And then we got Navar, and he could go right here. Honestly, this chapter isn't that bad once you, you know, just kind of rush in, stop the thieves. But again, like, this game has the whole dismounting system, but at least in Book 1's case, it was not built with that in mind. It, you could tell, like, Cain and Abel are hurt badly due to it. So it makes me wonder if uh, they, if they, you know, they added the dismounting system for book two, obviously. But it makes me wonder if they should have just left it alone for book one. I'll let Tiki start attacking because I can actually use Tiki. Tiki's actually uh, pretty good. Or at least in the sense that she actually gains levels. With good stat buffs. And Bantu needs the time to heal. Oh no, you're gonna heal him. Ah, oh, it was a full heal. Oh no, Navar. Ah, you're fine. Oh, you dodged. What was that percentage? Oh, it was 89%. But again, that doesn't really happen too much. Okay. So, you have a mend and you have a recover. Uh, actually, what if Bantu goes ahead and attacks this guy first? There we go. At least he didn't get the crit this time. And then Tiki goes in for the KO. Now we don't have to worry about a healer. There we go. This is going well. And hell, I can have Tiki go here and start working on... Oh wait, Leaven Sword. Hmm. I can have Tiki. Oh right, Fire beats Ice Dragons. But wait. Hold on a minute. <coughs> Divine Dragons are not Ice Dragons. There's a difference. So this fireball won't deal extra damage. Right? Why do you have three... Why do you have three resistance? Again, I like my mages. They're not built with FE1 in mind. Because it kind of took, like, the Dragon Quest approach, where magic basically does a set amount of damage. And all you can really do is boost your resistance. Go Navar. Level 
Level 19, skill, weapon, and HP. Okay, I need to be careful. Uh, Marth? You know, I can give you. Boost resistance to crit. Yeah. Yeah, magic isn't really that great. And you know what sucks? The mages, since you can't boost magic, you think they should be able to boost defense more often, and or resistance, I mean. And they really don't. Instead of heavy, heavy hidden magic for special times like Excalibur. Right. I haven't used Excalibur all that much because it's in the too good to use. But I've used it here and there whenever, whenever there's flyers or a group of them. Uh, or is a case where she desperately could have used some levels, and you know it's strong enough to where. Now, I do I do think that the mages should have gotten more resistance to help against magic. I do still agree with that. However, because that is not the case, she got to use aura a lot against other magic users and one hit KO them. So that's why my aura is very low on usage. Uh, I still want to give Mark the KO. So, what I think I'll do... Yeah. I'm gonna let... Castor... Stand right here. Equip your iron. And we are gonna wait it out. They've already made their turns. I think we're done here. Yeah. The healer's running away. He's just like, I need to go heal the thief! <sighs> Caster's too good. Strength, skill, and luck. Well, we're gonna find out what those are here in a minute. Alright, so I think I want to take the opportunity to have Tiki start attacking. Alright, she has an attack of 20, well, attack of 20, and he has an attack of 10, but his attack speed is 9. He will double me. That is not a good sign. Uh, how about, what if we have Castor fight? So, attack speed of 8, okay, he won't double. He'll hit me for 10. I think that'll be fine. Or, you know, Castor dodges like a champ. That 4% dodge. That was a 4% dodge. So there's 16 health left. Possibly 20... Actually, I think it is the full 23 damage. Yeah, resistance is not affected by Dragon Breath. Is the only way to resist Dragon Breath is just by having... Just being a dragon? Basically, dragons have a innate resistance to breath attacks. Unless it's the wrong element. go here. Yep. Oh, now you get the crit. Hey, it's kind of weird. We just skipped a chapter. Uh, oh, Mars level 14. Skill and luck. And we got some gold. Good. I'm gonna let Navar stand here and block the thief. There. Now we're good. And now I can basically just do what I want. We can start opening these one at a time. I think I want my mages close. That'll work. Who needed healing? Navar? 
Lena. Pick you up, I guess. Alright. That's probably good enough. Are you healed? No, not yet. Actually, I, I, I'll have Bantu start moving. Here, I'll weaken this guy. Oh good, he didn't get the crit. <laughs> that can do anything is the thief and the healer. Alright. I'm gonna feed Martha KO. I oh and Bantu's back to normal. Okay, Tiki, I want you to grab this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. I don't think I want Tiki to grab this. Let's be honest here. She's a Durgan. When she's a Durgan, she's actually really solid. She doesn't need the EXP. Honestly, I'm probably going to feed her KOs just by doing basically what I did with Bantu. And she's better than Bantu. So, I should feed the EXP to other characters like Mark while I have the chance. So I'm going to do just that. There are weak enemies that Marth can KO. I think I'll feed him them. Because we know we need Marth powered up for the final chapter. Let's go ahead and heal Navar. Just trying to feed Marth a few kills here and there. Caster could, uh, he could get a heal. Bantu could use it. Actually, let's keep him here just in case. Um, oh, and adds plane. Um, how about I wait before opening this door? Uh, let's get that going. All right, so. Open this door. We'll have these guys clear out the room. Oh wait, what do you have? That's what we need. That's what we need. Uh, let's see, another 40 seconds. Yeah, feed that to Marth. Feed this to Marth. And you know what? When, if we see any, like, archers, I might try to box them in and feed those to Marth as well. We're gonna, I'm going to try to feed a lot of KOs to Marth. Looks like the ad is done. Alright, so. Yeah, I'm thinking of letting Marth... I'm gonna try to feed Marth kills. So, like, some easy kills like these. And if there's, like, any archers or something, I might try to box them in. What do we got? Oh, speaking of archers... That's, uh... Interesting choice. Okay. If I want to box them in, I'm going to put Barst right there. Lind, I want you out of the way. Let's see. Speed is six. Yeah. We'll be fine. 
Magma, I'm gonna set him right here. That'll be good. I'm hoping... Okay, I am hoping he'll go after either Barst or Agma. So if he goes after Julian, then I'm gonna need to make sure he backs out in this. He's staying on the throne. <laughs> it's just like, I need to heal too. Yeah, I go after Julian. I'm not surprised. Okay, Julian. You need to heal. So, I'm gonna set you here. Let's go ahead and heal. Julian. There we go. He needs to be at full health just in case something like that happens again. And Len is level 20. But... Um... We don't have anything to promote or do we? I just realized, I don't think we have any sort of magic promoting item. It's kind of weird now that I think about it. Oh, well, we've got the star spe sphere and the light sphere. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the. Actually, I might need that. I'll throw the vulnerary in. Honestly, this guy being here, and he'll fully heal eventually, but he's not a threat. He's not a threat as is. We can have Navargo over here. Uh, and I think that will be good. Ours is at full, Ogma's close enough. Yeah, that'll be good. There's going to be reinforcements at some point, isn't there? No. Seven damage. Whatever shall I do? Alright. Agma. Just block him. I'm going to try to feed it to Marth. You, uh, you may not be at full health, but you don't need to be. First, you could go here. Uh, Navar, let's have you, like, here, I guess. Julian, you are at full health. I am going to hold off on opening the door. Who else needs healing? Castor, yes. heal staff is going to break soon. So I will need to trade. Alright. I think I'll leave it there. Yeah, that guy can heal all he wants. He can stay on the chair. He's not going to be able to do anything. Marth, you go here. Alright, Julian. Hey, it's tre it's treasure. Well, Julian can start uh you know grabbing all that treasure. Take the time to head down to the next set. While Julian works on that. Not move anywhere. So, Bantu, you can go right here. Let's go ahead and heal him up. 
Although, I don't need to do this for the EXP. So why am I... Mm. Oh well. Juice, is there a magic promoting item? Because so far I can't... I don't see it. Because if I'm correct... I have an Orion's Bolt. I have Knight's Crest. And I have Hero's Crest, but that's about it. I know this game is weird about promotion. There should be... There should be mage promotion items. How come I didn't get any? How come I didn't... How come I haven't found any yet? Maybe one of these chests will have it. Here. Marth, you go ahead and start fighting. Because if I remember correctly, uh, generals do not have, or knights and, uh, and generals don't actually happen in this game. Yeah, this healer is now the boss of the stage. He, it's going to be such a slog to get rid of him. Well, we got a Dragon Whip, so that's the... That's the, um... Pegasus one. Yeah, you know what? We may just get the Mage one here soon. In one of these treasure chests. It makes me wonder if one of the cut stages were supposed to have the magic promoting ones, but because they were cut, uh, we lost access to them. And so, like, this might be the first chapter we we got to, where we finally get one. <coughs> yeah, it's going to take a minute. It is going to take a minute before Julian gets down here. But I'm all prepped and ready to go. Oh, now he's, that he's nearly at full health, he's like, I gotta go and heal the sniper. He's low on health. I gotta do my I gotta do my job. Meanwhile, he's not realizing that he's gonna get so close that Martha's gonna be able to just attack him. Don't worry, this will be a slow process, but Martha's getting the EXP. See what this is. Power ring. That increases your power by four. You can throw that in storage. But you know what's funny, Juice? Boosting Lena's strength means that she can heal better. So there is kind of a reason to maybe boost strength. For Lena. It's probably not the smartest use of it, but you can, and that's just funny to me. Um, again, I thought it would be, like, resistance to boost the magic capabilities of the healers. I thought it'd be resistance, but because resistance, like, never gets a boost upon level, it almost never happens. So I think because of that, they just tied it to strength. And just weird. This may just get strength stats. Sometimes level ups. Yeah, I guess. I mean... If you're a magic user and magic is not an actual stat, you might as well use the strength stat for something. But it only applies to the clerics. I guess it will apply to Merrick and Lena if they promote and they have access to heal. Yeah, I, I guess it, they can get some use. There you go, Marth. 
did it. Level 15. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level, defense, resistance, and HP. <coughs> I think the only thing he didn't get out of that is luck. That's a... Hey, look at that. Marth has a single point in resistance. It's so nice. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, next turn. Next turn. Is there someone I need to heal? No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Let's just end turn. Probably, you know what? Let's get, uh, let's make sure the healer can't turn around. <laughs> All right. What do we get? Oh, look at that. Another archer with a steel bow. What's his attack? It's a hunter 15. Yeah, Julian's fine. I, I sense another uh, KO for Marth. Let's put Navarre right here. Well, now that we know that, we are going to have everyone start making sure they can head over here. <coughs> I think we're good. This is going to be a slow chapter now, but the fact that we are uh, pretty much good, and I don't see any reinforcements, we kind of took out the main force. You know, if this chapter was more like, say, what was it, the final chapter in Fire Emblem 7, where, yes, you have these door, uh, these extra rooms where enemies are, but they open automatically. That'll make this a little different, but no, we can open these doors whenever we want because we already took out the thieves. I should give a KO to Navar just so he can promote. I may, I may give him one, but for right now. I already healed Julian. That's good. And we'll just leave it there. Yes. Go after the fire. Too bad you don't get EXP for dodging. Block the path in the bar. Granted, this chapter is probably supposed to be tougher if you're not able to take out all the thieves. Because they, they would just keep opening doors and be like, Oh no, so many enemy reinforcements, I can't make it there in time, but... I, I noticed this game has a, like... It, this game kind of seems to have a problem with, like, the lack of enemies, if that makes sense. Usually there's just not enough sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes the reinforcements just keep coming. Is it gonna be treasure? Let's see. Is it treasure? It's treasure! Alright. Martha, you go down here. 
Now let's start preparing for the next batch. You go down here. Merrick. Lind. A sense of theme. I, I, I want to take a wild guess right now and say that the this one has an archer. I'm going to take a wild guess at that. strong enough, because he's going to need uh, the Falchion to, be to defeat Medeus. And we just got a few more chapters to do it. There we go, level 16. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level, HP. And we got a steel bow out of it. Thank you for the storage. I do notice this game doesn't like... Uh, I noticed this when I played uh, FE1 the first time. Well, at least the NES version. I don't know how the DS version is with this. Uh, this game doesn't... After a little while, once the shop stops selling iron weapons, you'll never find any more. Like, that's it. You better have stocked up on the earlier chapters if you wanted them. So you go right ahead and we're going to set you over here. Mark. Okay. I think we are set and ready to go. Oh, wait. I'll get him later. I can always grab the chest later. Who would have guessed an archer? Julian is good at full health. 15 attack. Yeah, Julian's fine. Do I want to give that one to Marth? Yeah, I'll feed it to Marth. I'll feed it to Mark. Yeah, go ahead and attack Julian. Julian. Over here. Let's go ahead and heal. This is a very interesting chapter, I assure you. I wonder if this chapter was harder in uh, other versions. Make it close up. Can I get a close up image? Not really. Here, hold on. Uh, what is it? Control plus. Uh, I'm looking at DS version. And honestly, it looks like the same formations, more or less. I don't see anything different. So this map was just kind of always easy. Okay, wait. So I, I fully healed you. I'm letting Agma or Bars take the hit. No, that's right. Okay. I did not think about that. Okay. Um. Uh, let's just open the door. Because, let me see, is it treasure? It's treasure! Who would have guessed?
Oh, anyway. Start moving down. I'm gonna have to make this work a little bit differently. I'm gonna have to make sure he either starts backing up here again, or, uh... That's why I'm keeping bars here, just in case. Or he needs to start backing up in here. Should be another archer or so. I think I'm gonna feed it to Navar. Actually, let's keep Barst right there, actually. Alright. There we go. Perfect. That's where I'd rather have him be. It's just like, huh, you can't get me now. I'm in the corner. Oh no, you've trapped me! Who would have guessed? Since I am positive this is gonna be a, an archer of some sort, stand here. This guy was, you know what? I probably could have just had Marth get the KO. It's not like he's a sniper. Yeah, I could have just gone for it. That's me just playing it cautiously. Alright. Yeah, he, he, I'm, he's not gonna get another level. Julian, open the door. Who would have guessed? An archer! Navar, go ahead. Grab the KO. And I should have fed him more KOs. Oh well. Let's take a look at what we got over here. Next turn. And you know what? I think I'm gonna have Marth start opening the treasure chests that are over there. Or at least a set of them. That way Julian's not doing more. This part of me forgets that Marth can do this. <laughs> Open chests. Alright. And behind the last door is... Treasure! Perfect. Well, I'm gonna go at... Well, uh, it's not like she needs the EXP, so... Nah, I'm not gonna heal Marth. It's kind of a waste. Alright. I guess... Uh, I guess Navar is gonna be promoted next... Uh, next chapter. Best use of the Fire Emblem in any series. Yeah, it actually does something. It actually has a use. Promotes the mages or sisters. Okay. We'll throw the dragon whip in storage. There we go. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. And here's the thing. It kind of needs to go to Lena. Because look, Merrick nor Lind can promote. <laughs> Neither of them can. Trade... We are going to trade the Guiding Ring with... Let's just, just do that. Here we go. And we have a bishop. There, she can get experience now. Strength, skill, speed, and defense went up. Resistance went up, HP, and more movement. Wait, she has 10 movements. All right, Julian, open this up. Pure water, that could go in storage. 
I'm gonna give you back your men. So, does this mean she can fight now? Yeah. Uh, the Here's the thing, Juice. The boots are a plus four to the movement. Not a plus two, a plus four. And we got Angel's Robe out of that. We don't know what that does, but it has a use. Let's throw that in storage for now. I forget what it does, actually. I'm gonna have Lena go and check the storage, because maybe she can have, like, a fireball or something. That way she can defend herself if needed. This way. Uh, Marth. I'm going to keep go over here. Alright. Uh, supply. What do we got? Can we get anything out of here? We. Ooh. Honestly, that's about right. We just need to get her a blizzard spell. That'll work. I ad may be playing right now, but eh, you're not missing anything. We're just getting marked to the end. Friendship until book two, I guess. Ooh, 10,000 gold. There's not a sh secret shop here, is it? No, no, there isn't. I don't think there's going to be a secret... We just had a secret shop last chapter. I don't think there's one here. And another bull gun. Bull gun. Alright. That's all the treasure. And look at this. She was getting so much weapon level from the level ups that she is able to basically just use anything. Any magic spell she wants. We just need to get her a blizzard spell. Just, then she could take on dragons. Alright, next turn. And Marth sees the throne. Marth, I am currently at a village north of Medum Castle. That's right. It is already very close. If you have both the star and light sphere, please come and visit me. Without starlight, you will be you will be unable to take back the Falchion from Garna. Garna has escaped to the illusion city of Thebes. Your sister at least should also be there. I have been protecting her with my power, but I won't be able to hold out for much longer. Please hurry and rescue Elise. Pretty simple chapter. <clears throat> Kingdom of Rust is, is a knight's country, which was founded by one of the three heroes in the Liberation Wars. General or Ordway. 
Since the country's formation, the neighboring tribes were conquered by its mighty knights. And finally, it became one of the strongest of Arcanea's seven kingdoms. However, the current king, Ludwig, was weak. He feared the power of the resurrected Medeus, and so allied with Daruna. Also, following several consecutive defeats, he fell dangerously ill. The once brave and mighty kingdom of Grus had finally entered the Age of Ruin. He refused to call him Camus. He rather call him Camus. Hey, look! It's been a while. It's been a few chapters since we actually fought outside. Now we get to fight outside. Alright. Let's see how many we can take. Uh, scrap Tiki, just in case. Uh, we don't need Bantu now. We have Camus. Yeah, we have Camus. We have Tiki. Uh, and I can have one person left. Let's see. Am I missing someone? I mean, I could still take Bantu with me, but I don't need to anymore. At least I don't think so. Could take Wendell. Just to have, I guess. No one else is really going to be useful. I kind of already had, like, a main team. Mm. Yeah, I kind of already had a main team. It would be good. I could take Zane. And just, like, clone a Navarre or something. Sure. We could do that. I may not actually use him, but we could do that. By the way, Juice, there's achievement for recruiting Aaron, and there's also achievement for recruiting Samson. But if you recall, uh, that's one. That's the chapter where you can only pick one or the other. So I made a backup save and just went back to that chapter and just quickly got Samson for the other achievement. Right, let me go through items. I don't need the Angel's Robe. Do I need these two for this chapter? I don't think so. Do I? You get Zane before that chapter. In your first playthrough, you got Zane before chapter... That was chapter 13. But you can clone Marth and go to both houses at the same time, but it doesn't work that way. No. That would have been funny if that worked, but no. They close immediately. Yeah, that, that would have been funny if it did work. Uh, I don't think I need these two at the moment, but honestly, Mark doesn't need anything else. So I think we'll be fine. I should definitely restock on Bolinaries. I just realized how useless door keys actually are. Caster's fine, Bars is fine, Hogma. You don't need the door key. Jillian, you don't need this. You definitely don't need that. I just realized how dorkies work. Okay, we're good there. Merrick, you're fine. Lind, you're fine. Shuda's fine. Minerva's fine. Tiki's here. Zane's here. I think that's good. Okay. Let me take a look. We got Camus with his lance that, honestly, I don't know how to pronounce, and I also can't tell you if it can attack from range. I have a feeling it might. We have ballistas, fire ballistas at that. Oh, we got Lawrence here. Wait, isn't he recruitable? Isn't Lawrence recruitable? He might be. Let's see. 
that type of system. Okay. Uh, we have an arena here, but I don't think I will need it. Unless I really want to try to boost up Mark or something. These forts are probably going to need to be plugged. Oh, that thief is trying to get trying to get here. Okay. Flames, arrows, and we got a bunch. We got a bunch of paladins. We are now finally at the at the point where we're finally dealing with like only promoted units. All right, let's just see how it goes. Let's see. Oh, we're over here. Prince Marth, about Grust, is there something, there is something I wish to tell you. You should know that Grust's famous Saber Order, Sable Order, are led by General Camus. Three years ago, Arcanea was occupied by his men. I was also captured by him. Doluna wanted to entire, wanted the entire Arcanea royal family to be killed, and they prepared to kill me, the sole survivor, me. But Camus didn't uh, fear Deluna's shadow dragon, Medeus, and he constantly protected the young me of two years ago. Once he discovered that Medeus had sent his personal guards, he had me escape to Aureus. Afterwards, he was only held captive until recently, because he had won many victories for Deluna. At first, I really hated him, but now, no matter what, I cannot find it in myself to do so. If possible, I don't want to fight against him. I, I just want to see him one more time. That implies we should talk to him. But I already know Camus is not recruitable. I already know that. So we need Mark to get all the way down here. And we need to do something about this thief. I... But whoever I send down here is going to be in a lot of trouble. I could warp someone. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm thinking we warp... Actually, do I... I don't need to warp. They're actually pretty close. And that's a drawbridge. Okay. I could just send these three and just have them go over here. Or I could, like, warp Ogma, like, right here and deal with the Ballista. No, 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 no. We warp someone right here. Ooh. Ogma? The honors. Actually, why do I have Julian here? I don't need him here. Warp. Agma. Let's warp him here. should be able to survive these two generals. Uh, Mark, you need to head down. The generals can be taken out by... Well, it's really gonna have to be my mages, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna need Merrick... No, we're gonna need Julian to uh, open the drawbridge. I wish I could see range. I wish I could see attack range. 
but I can't. That's the bad part about this. Yeah, if I open the drawbridge, I could like send Kane or Abel up there to the generals. Actually, I should send one of them this way to deal with the thief. Maybe both. Ten range. Well, we'll see. Okay. Um, Cheetah, honestly, you're not going to be useful. I haven't found, I haven't gotten much use out of Cheetah. And. It's because she's a little too weak. I wonder if I should throw her into the arena and let her fight some stuff. Try to get some EXP. I've been trying, but it's kind of hard to use her. They're on the move, but they're heading to Minerva. So, if Minerva gets out of the way, they might go back. Agma with the crits. Honestly, this might work out okay. Because Agma shouldn't get this KO. Never mind, Agma's. Aga was mad. He is very mad right now. Strength, weapon, HP. Kind of wish he got defense. Now, um, we can see the error of my ways. Death. Yeah, this chapter might be pretty difficult. They seem to be pretty accurate, and they're pretty strong as is. And of our made it to level 20. Let's just see how well Minerva fights. she get hit for 10 if she gets hit, which she probably will. Honestly, her main job was to get rid of the Ballista. That was her main job. Another 10. Yeah, she should be fine. I just want to see how the rest of the round plays out. Okay, Ballista's going after Caster. going after Julian. Three damage? Why am I so scared of it? God, that's nothing. Alright, that's a reset. Ballistas, like, I, I keep thinking they're like Thracia Ballistas, where they're accurate and they're strong. But really, I should only worry about Ballistas when they're, uh, when we're talking about flyers, I guess. And even then, only one type of Ballista. Yes, I get it. Okay. So, honestly, if I wanted to do the warp strategy, Tiki's not the worst option, because I think she'll have the stats. So I could try that, but honestly, 
I think I want to try to give KOs to, like, Navarre and Magma. So let's, let's just try this. And that's fine. Minerva is still going here. Getting rid of the Ballista. I'm not gonna warp. At least not this turn. say this, part of me feels underleveled, and that's part, part of it is because when it, I know reinforcements are going to show up in certain spots in certain chapters, and I know where they're going to show up, so I tend to have the reinforcements, like, completely plugged, so I'm not getting extra EXP from reinforcements, if that makes sense, most of the time. See how this goes. Magma and Navarre, can you survive? They're all gonna target Agma, aren't they? You know, the fact that Ar Agma did not get a K, uh, did not get a crit to get a KO. Probably saved his life. There we go. Ah, so close. Slow, so close, Navarre. Very nice, very nice Minerva. Okay. I don't think the other paladins are gonna move. Maybe they will, maybe they'll follow. Actually, they don't seem to move. We're gonna want to plug those uh, forts. Because there's just gonna be more paladins out of there. We don't want that. And I don't know when the reinforcements are gonna start showing up. So, first, um. Mr. They're already, they already can't really take another hit. Once you're moving at seven. That's not a good sign. It's not really a good sign. Mark, you keep moving down there. I might have to have Sheeta rush over so we can take out the thief. Um, or caster. What is the best way to handle this? Okay, what if... Merrick? With Thunder... Why do you have so much resistance? Never mind. Uh, wind. With L fire. 
Hellfire is an attack of 11. 11 minus 6, that's 5. Are you... Mm. How come her Elfire is stronger? Wait a minute. How come she has a 11 attack in Elfire? But you have a 10 attack in Elfire. Is there a way to boost magic damage? Is it resistance? Actually, no, I, I shouldn't. Um, actually, Castro, how well can you do? Attack a 24. Yeah, Castro can just straight up get the KO. Is that all you can attack? Pretty much. speed. Okay, yeah. Barst has it. Are you kidding me, Barst? Okay, he got the crit. That works. Level 15. Skill, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. Okay. Can't enable, can't make it. Alright, what's the best plan? someone, but we'll see. Uh, I think I'll have Abel here, too, ready to go. Send him Kane. Actually, no, I'm gonna send Kane down here. I think everyone else that's here can be great. Did you get hit? No, you didn't. Alright. And... Oh no! I forgot about Minerva! There it is. That's my B. That is my bad. I forgot about Minerva. I completely forgot about her. Try that again. Come on. All right. That first round did okay. It did okay. That's that's the best like compliment I could give. So I think some of these units are gonna just have to spend time plugging reinforcement forts. Alright, 
Let's try this again. Next time, I'll make sure to move Minerva out of the way. Zani's just kind of here. He's probably just going to spend time plugging the fort. Maybe I'll have him transform into Navarre, but I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to do that. Again, I could have Tiki transform into a dragon and just warp her. I could do that. But honestly, I don't know how well she'd do. He didn't get the KO. And he managed to dodge, so that's... This is even better. Okay. I know there's an ad going right now, but I don't know what you can really do. Yeah, Minerva, I know you're gonna survive. You just need to get out there. Did Minerva? Oh no, she just got hit. She just got hit twice. That's what happened. I thought she got hit by a crit or something, but no. She would be dead if that were the case. Oh no, the fire ballista cast her dodges. Honestly, part of me is thinking of, like, getting Shiva to level 10, like, through the arena, and then I might just promote her. She's not... she hasn't been that useful. And I think she just kind of needs the extra help. Alright, here's kind of what I'm thinking. I really would like to give Navarre this final level, but I... He only gets, you only get ten, 10 EXP if you survive a hit. I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give... Caster this. Not that he needs it. But I got an idea. going to heal Navarre. I'm so glad Lena can now defend herself. And she could basically use any spell she wants. I could give her Thoron if I wanted to. Okay. Now Navarre goes here. Grabs this KO. Now he'll be at level 20. And next turn we can promote him. Skill and luck. Kind of sad. Alright, I want Agma here. And I am going to set 
table right here. Wait, did I do that right? Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, yep. Uh, I can safely go two up from where came from where it came is. Hopefully I can make it there in time. Okay, now that Minerva's safe, they backed out. Okay. Okay. Agma should be able to survive another attack, maybe. You're going after Caster, that's smart. That's a good move. Okay. I can live with that. Oh no! You're attacking Lena! Seven damage. Kinda sucks. Oh well. Thief. Ooh, can he make it there the next turn? Let's see, can he make it there? No, he can't. I have another turn. I have one more turn to make it there. That works out fine. Okay. So you're weakened. You need to promote. And I wouldn't mind being able to get rid of these. So, Barst, what if we do this? The iron for attack of for attack of twenty five minus eleven. That is fourteen. That is exactly enough. Just need to hit him. There's no kill like it. Kill. Alright. Level 15. Skill, weapon, and then defense and HP. Okay. Now for you. I think I can let Caster go ahead and attack from range. At 24. Total HP, 24. XP of 2. Wait, how much damage can I deal with? 27 minus 12. That's 15? Not enough. However, if we use the silver bow... And we have three more speed. There we go. Yeah, that's what's weird about this juice. You need three more speed to double, not four. I was thrown off there. You get strength, speed, and HP. Good for Castor. Alright. Ogma. Grab the KO. Stuff. 17, skill and luck and weapon. Able. There we go. Perfect. Level 15, strength, speed, weapon level, resistance, and HP. Okay, okay. Navar. Let's head this way. And we get to use the Hero's Crest. And we are now a hero. 
Navarre. The Myrmidon is now a hero. That doesn't sound right, but it's fe one Strength, skill, defense plus two. Resistance got a plus three. Hell yeah. Look at that. All right. So I need to spend some time healing. Are there other ballistas? Yes, there are. Sadly, I can't really do much. I gotta be able to plug the fortresses, though. So I'm more worried. Oh, they're both fire. Looks like the forts will be covered by the ballistas. All of them will be. I don't think I want to open the drawbridge just yet. How much attack do these have? 21? Really? Okay. They have 21 attack. Hmm. Sadly, I can't send in Minerva or anything. Not yet. We're gonna have to do something like this. Um... have Tiki become a dragon. Don't know if I'll warp her. Oh, they're trying to cut through the mountains. Wait, what? Who are you healing? Wait, what, what did he do? He mended? Who did he... No, you did something. Fortify. Who did you affect? Ah, uh, okay. I see. It's not a big deal. Okay, uh, Kane? Get rid of him. Man, that- oh yeah, the Thief is strong because it has a Devil's Axe, I forgot. Like, how does it have that much damage? We got 2,000 gold out of that. Mark's safe. Uh... You just know when reinforcements show up, they're gonna be out of these forts as well. Okay. So... Honestly... I plug these. I don't know. But these cat, these paladins are gonna try to cut through the mountains. I could just prepare for them. Yeah, I could just prepare for a battle. It would take a few turns, but I could do that. Actually, no, no, no. We're gonna have Navar head over here. And we're gonna have him uh, block a general. You know they're gonna show up. I just don't know where. Or when, I should say. That's the better 
That's what I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when. Yeah, they're gonna try to cut through the mountain. Really? A 26% chance and he got the hit? Come on. There we go. You did what you were supposed to do, Abel. You dodged. Okay, good. Get some of the heal in. Mars, you can go here. It's fine. Marth, save the village! Oh, Lord Marth, you finally came! That's the end of the sentence. Is my granddaughter, Lena, alright? This repair staff, Hammer, has been passed down by my family. Please take it. However, it can only repair weapons, so take notice when you use it. There we go. It has five uses? Oh, Estes here. Ah, are you Lord Marth? I'm Est of Medon. I was captured when I tried to recover the stolen uh, Mercuria sword from the Grustian army. But that young knight Camus rescued me, and I was able to escape. This is the Mercuria sword, a truly impressive sword, no? But can your highness wield it? Well, let's see. See if we can. Let's replace it with uh, the iron, I guess. Yeah, he can wear. He can wield it. There we go. We got the Mercuria, um, Mercuria sword, and Lena can use the hammer and staff. Honestly, if I were to use it, I'd probably use it on the aura because that's really low. But other than that, maybe in well, I could repair an armor slayer. All right. Let's prep for these guys. Over the bridge. Bar. Now that you are a hero, a gallant hero, you should be good. So, if I remember correctly, based on kind of what I was seeing when I was looking at the missing chapter, the chapter before the Tiki one was the fight with Camus. Uh, if I'm correct, that's when you're supposed to get S. So they moved her a few chapters later. Hey, Absol, Eret, how's it going? Currently on chapter 16 of Epi 3. Let's see, came to fight. I don't know if it should go around. No, let's have him back up Abel for now. Well, how's it going? Let's see. We only had two deaths uh, this stream so far. Yeah, just the two. Tiki Chapter was uh, kind of lucked out there. Uh, I think we're good. I think we could just let her stay there for now. We just got S. She just showed up out of nowhere and brought us the Mercuria sword. We gave that to Marth. And if I'm correct, that heals back HP for him when he attacks. Ooh, yes. Go, Navar. Uh, the nice uh, Zontenzuken type of critical hit animation. Sadly, it did in one hit KO. That's okay. Counter? Okay, no crits. That's okay. Yeah, okay, who are you healing? Oh, you're attacking Kane. Interesting. I mean, he's not on fort. Oh, good. Kane's out of the range of the other one. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's gonna die right now. But nope, we lucked out. Okay. 
Let's see. I think Marth should... Well, here's the thing. Maybe Marth can deal with these guys. Hear me out. We get one of the- we lure one out? Or one or two? With the Mercurius Sword. Yeah, we can try that. Attack of 30. Wow. Okay. Okay, Agumon's gonna wait. Kane's gonna wait. Mm, yeah, we're not using the javelin. Kane, uh, no, Abel's gonna wait. Kane, you need to back up your heal. Uh, let's see. You're full, you're not. Lind, can you get the KO? Attack of 22, res of 3. You won't get a sing you won't get a one hit KO. We can use all fire. Uh, no. If we want the KO, we need to use aura. I'll just repair it. I think Aura is a safe one to repair. Unless Starlight is supposed to just uh, replace it. Oh, I forget what chapter we actually get Starlight. Alright, so my options now. Actually, Castor. With your Iron Bow, with the attack of 25 minus 17, that's pretty weak. Okay. Merrick. Except... <sighs> Man, why is there no actual magic stat? That's... That's what's bad about this. There's no actual magic stat. My mages are not doing as good. Just kind of weakening this guy. Navar. With your attack of 25, defense of 17. Now, let's go ahead and weaken with Merrick. I guess I'll just go with... Uh, Thunder... Ah, oh, this sucks. Where's an armor slayer when you need one? <laughs> Honestly, going up against armor units in general, I'm almost better off with armor slayers. I mean, Lin's uh, Oratome is good, but that's the exception. cleared up. These guys are going to continue going after, after them, going through the mountains. Still need to figure out if Lorenz is recruitable. I think he is. But I think we're going to start heading over here to the arena and the shops. Um, I honestly don't know what you should actually do. She'd uh, actually have to stay there for a turn. Alright, let's see how it goes. Alright. Abel, you got this. And we got a dodge. 
One more hit should do it. Agma for the dodge. And the crit. And the other... And the second crit. He is very mad. I think he's upset that Navar got to promote before him. Right, Molly? Yeah. He's just upset he didn't get to promote first. Right? Yeah, I know. You want attention? You want attention? I think my dog wants attention. Come here! Come here. Come here. Uh, Molly, come on. I think Abel got hit. found your bone. You found your bone. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> she found her bone. Okay, Martha, you start heading up here. You're gonna go around. Okay, you took 10 damage. You took it from one of these guys, I think. Oh, this is actually pretty bad. Hmm, how do I want to handle this? But because he needs healing, I'm going to move Barst. Yeah, I'm going to move Barst. I'm going to move Abel. I'm going to move Abel. That's probably the best way I can handle it. Abel can't- I don't think he could survive an onslaught. I lucked out with that dog. I should have had the Silver Sword equipped. Level 18, Defense and HP. And we got a Knight's Crest. Well, that's for Kane. Okay. What do we got in the shops? We got a lot of gold. I want another blizzard. And I'll buy another heal staff. It's always good to have a spare. I don't see myself actually using Est. I didn't use the other. I didn't use the other two. Hell, I barely use Sheeta. Granted, I'm also barely using Minerva. Ah. Let's see. I'm gonna try to feed Sheeta a couple kills in there. And then promote her. I think that will just give her a better use. to point out that Lena's strength is so good that a normal heal staff for heal for, for her heals more than the base of men's staff. And that just means the men's staff can basically just fully heal anyone. Yeah, she could basically just give anyone she wants a full heal with a men's staff. Or just very close to it. It's that, uh, she's that good. Maybe I could distract one of them. Ten. Three down from burst. Maybe I could distract one of the ballistas with pain. Hey, Tiki, Tiki and Zane are just kind of here. You know what, I, I'm gonna give Zon- 
I want Zane to do. Uh, it just, you know, oh, he can't transform it into Tiki. He can't, he can't transform it into a Durgan. Or a Durgan person. Some chameleon you are. And there's the reinforcements. Okay, from the south. Oh, and the center as well. Okay. Okay, that's basically what I was hoping for right there. Yeah, good, good. I distracted one of the ballistas. That's what I was hoping for. Other one is not doing anything. These are weaker enemies. They're form ones. So that's fine, and this guy has a javelin. Okay. Let's see. I still think I want to try to get Marth to lure some of these, uh, some of these guys. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna let Bars go ahead and grab this KO. Oh, uh, never mind, he dodged. Javelin, I guess. Of course you get a crit. <laughs> of course you do. Because you totally needed it. He was just that accurate. Alright. You know what? Let's use the silver. I just wait. I didn't add started. Okay, there we go. Just what I was saying, we couldn't find any iron weapons. Here they are. Here's the iron stuff. I might buy some lances and bows, but I don't think I'll need anything else. Look at this shot. Killer sword, silver sword. Killer Lance, Silver Lance, Killer Bow, and a Silver Bow. Okay. So these shops have iron equipment and specialty, like, killer equipment, silver equipment. No steel. Interesting. Are we done having steel weapons now? Shopping is going to be interesting. I'm thinking let's go ahead and buy... I wanted to buy some iron. I'm thinking one iron for Kane. Hell, I might give one iron for Abel. So two iron. Well, I could just probably... Yeah, I'll still buy them anyway. I think you're fine. Although, we might give you a... Killer Lance, actually. Okay. Wait, 
Lin's? No. Who wanted the... Lena did. Lena. You wanted the... So I want to buy two of these. One for Kane, one for Abel, for just to have spares. How about one more for storage for Caster? And I think he'll be good on that. We don't need this. We have spares. We don't need this. We have a. He should be able to use a silver. So I think we'll be good. I have a lot of gold. Yeah, you have the silver. I could buy one steel, just have. You know what, I might actually buy one steel. Cheetah, you get over here. You're just kind of here. TK and Zane are just kind of here. Here, Zane, why don't you just transform into Minerva? Because why not? You somehow get a dragon, too. And it's, like, pinkish. Kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting that they never brought the idea of a chameleon person back. As far as I know, this is the only game to have someone like Zane. Okay, I can lure one over. Navar. But he needs some healing, so I'm going to summon the fold for now. Everyone else stay close. I'm putting Cain uh, and Abel here because the Cav with the Javelin will pop in. And hopefully he'll attack one of these two. And I can get some extra EXP out of it. We're dealing with a lot of reinforcements. It's probably going to go after Burst, though. I really need to get rid of, uh, get rid of the Vistas. I wonder how many turns this is going to last. I almost can't afford to wait it out. Oh, you're still going after Kane. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Okay. It's going to take them a little bit to catch up. On Marth here. You are at full health. Yeah, you are. Again, if I can lure at least one of them down, well, let's be honest, both of them will probably be lured out. Actually, no, if I have Marth right here, only one should move. And at the same time as Marth goes there, I'll let Navar stand close to that one to help distract more. So I want to trade. I want to get the wizard. There we go. There, Lena is now equ properly equipped. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy... Let's see. A killer for Minerva. A killer for... Castor. 
a silver sword and a killing sword for Navarre. We'll send it to storage. We'll buy one more killing for Agra. I think that'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Minerva, let's go ahead and trade. I want you to take the killer and we'll swap out a javelin. There we go. Right, Lena's currently blocking the What? You need to attack. Come on, Abel. Okay. Yeah, Kane, you need to use a culinary. I should actually just... Did this have culinaries? No, this just has spells and the heal staffs. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, Mars moved. Agma's fine. Mars is fine. King and Abel are currently fine. Alright. More reinforcements. Going after Abel. Really? 26%? Okay, whatever. You got it. Good, at least we dodged one of them. I'm surprised they're not going after Marth. Okay, only the archer's going after Marth right now. That's good. I could deal with that. Okay with this. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I wonder how many turns this is gonna last. Okay. Abel, you're just gonna have to live with it. Alright. Oh, great. Great healing. Okay. So if I have Marth stand right here, he could distract one of them. And let's just hope. That's a 12. Oh, wait. I think I found an error. I hope Marth is able to dodge. Because the Mercury's sword is so strong, he might just get the KO. Backup? I don't know what to do. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Martha's on its own. Okay, you're after Julian. Okay. Good, he dodged. Okay. Interesting. He got up to Agma, but he's not attacking. That is interesting. We're getting away from Martha, too. Okay. That helps. Keep it 
going. Alright. So... These guys are not moving. They could have moved, but they didn't. He may move, though. So, if they're not gonna move... Okay, wait a minute. Does hit Camus' weapon... Does it attack from range? Is it like a javelin? Or is it only close range? I have no way to know. I have no way of finding that out. Because I could stand here and get rid of one of the- try to get rid of one of these guys. Uh, um, I don't want to get too close to Lorenz. Although what I can do... Let's give you your... Oh, it's all in storage. Oops. It's all in storage. Back out. Alright. Oh, you have a chip. Okay, well... Let's try to lure out this guy. So we'll get Navar right here. Oh, this is... This is annoying. Yeah, Ogma's gonna be able to weapons too. Crit. We'll take it. Level 19. One more level for you. Barst, are you able to actually hit him? Can you grab the KO? Look at this. Look at all that. Alright, Marth. We're just gonna move. General Camus! I don't want to fight you! You should understand that this battle is meaningless! Nina also wants to see you. Please, forget about the past and drop your sword. I don't have a sword, Marth. I have a lance, therefore you shall die. No. Marth. It's already too late. My homeland, Graust, must help Deluna achieve its ambitions. It is my duty, as a member of the glorious Graustian Sable Order, to fight until the very end. And besides, I caused your father's death. Why don't we just end everything here? Wait, Camus! I beg of you, your fight with Prince Marth isn't what I wish to see. Please, I beg of you, help us. No, help me. I'm sorry, Nina. If possible, I would like that. But betraying my homeland right as it's near ruin is something that I cannot do. Our days together may have been short, but I was very happy. Farewell. I pray for your happiness. Basically telling you, no, he can't be recruited. Yes, we have to fight him, and... Well, maybe based on how everything else goes, we have to kill him. I guess I could try messing around with the arena. Come on, Sheeta. Let's 
Let's take a look. That's probably the best I'm gonna get. Level 12. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, nope. 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 No, no, no. I saw that. I saw his attack power. Yes, I'm surround surrendering. I'm not taking that. I don't trust that. I guess Sh Sheeta needs to find a lower bet. I was basing it on Minerva's, but because she's a Draco Knight, I think the numbers are different. All right. It's interesting you can end the fight before it even actually starts. Like, as soon as I saw the numbers, I'm like, nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Yeah, exactly. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Lure the javelin guy over here. Yeah, you continue going after Mario. And you're going after Abel. Okay, good, you dodged and needed that. So many weak units just moving so slowly. Yep, there's even more of them. Just keep them coming. Is this one of those things where they'll just keep spawning for like 10 turns? Or do I have to defeat Camus? And then they'll stop. Alright. Let's see. I should get rid of one of these guys. However, you know what? Let's get rid of a ballista. Wait. Dang it. If anything, I should talk to him. Let's get rid of a healer. Attack of 30, defense of 5. Ah, uh, it still take two hits. It would still take two hits. So wait, okay. 18, minus 5, 13. Not enough. Not enough to double, double KO. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm using this. Get rid of the healer. Alright. Ooh, level. Level 17. Strength, skill, speed. Weapon level and... Oh, his HP went up by 2. Never seen that happen. Alright. Ogma, you go right ahead. Get your KO. Okay, or just weaken, that works too. So I am hoping... Okay. Where are you going? So we can get Navar right here to lure the general over even farther. And... I guess we'll leave it at that. So many of them. All right, Sheeta, let's see. Can we get a lower number? I'm thinking more 700 something. And that'll probably work out. No, that's even worse. No, not, not that. If we can at least get her to level 10, I can promote her. And that'll probably work out fine. Ooh, that works. We'll take it. Level 8. Let's see. What's your attack power? 23 and 8. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, we dodged. We got a crit. Okay, we can survive a single hit. Thank you. 
Oh, good. Okay, we- I feel like we lucked out. Jeez, even with, like, a 600-something, it was still risky. That was still risky. Are you kidding me? And Merrick didn't get hit, so we're fine there. Okay. Um... Hand axe? Sure. Let's try it. Let's just try to get rid of them. Do I dare try the javelin? Not really. Necrosy isn't that great. Alright. Let's try it. That's interesting. Okay, you're going after Kane. At least he's at full health. He'll take all of the damage if he gets hit. Dang it. Alright, Kane needs to equip like a steel or something. Abel, how well are you gonna do? Again, we're still talking a lot of damage if he gets hit. Good, good, good. Okay, that worked out. I can attack him. Jeez, you you know, these guys are low level, but they can still still deal damage. Look at the sheer numbers. And this guy's not even attacking Ogma. He's not even bothering. Come on. Oh, was that the rap last of the reinforcements? It looks like it. Looks like that was the last of them. Okay. I can try to make this work. Lawrence, uh, I really gotta be careful. If he were to attack me, he has 19 defense. Time to pull out the calculator. So, 12. He'd take 12 damage. What's my attack speed? 11. He would survive unless I crit. Assuming I need to talk to him with Marth. Or the other option. Get rid of the healer. And then move up. Uh, I just don't know how he works. probably should have done. I should have considered bringing him back to Lena, and then I could just warp. Alright, Caster, you go right ahead. There we go. Okay. Got rid of one of the generals. Thank you. 
You need to back out. I should also get rid of a ballista. You know what? I could get rid of a ballista right now. Let's get rid of a ballista. Help my other units. Let's hope it works out. Okay, down here. Pogma. You go ahead and attack. <laughs> I mean, I, I see why he doesn't attack Ogma. He has too much defense. You're still level 19. Mumbarst. Okay. Level 16, speed, luck, defense, and HP. You need to use your steel. Get rid of this guy. Very good. Level 16. Strength, speed, and HP. Let's have you use your steel. Oh, and Ad's playing? Okay. Weapon level, there we go. Merits. Let's see. This guy's still trying to chase after Marth. I'll just leave it there. And wait for the ad to finish. Let's see. Fifteen seconds. ended. I think I've done all I could do at the moment. Let's hope it works out. He's going after Marth. The glorious kingdom of Grust is finished. Your Highness, this was all because of you. Well, if Marth doesn't get a crit, he'll survive. Okay. Level 18, strength, skill, speed, defense, and HP. Done with the reinforcements. Yeah, go ahead, 
right, go after Abel. Oh, this could be bad. I can see a problem here. Come on, Abel, I need you to dodge. Oh, no. Okay, good. Okay, he's backing out to heal. This is not good. Oh! You don't talk! Is he recruitable? Can he be recruited? It says I can, but with Marth or Sita, is that different? Is there like a difference? From what I'm understanding is Sita is the only one that can talk to him. Okay, well... If I still want him... I need to... I need to try to leave. But I think it's too late now. It might be too late. No, it, okay, no, we're fine. It, from what I understand, the DS version, you can talk to him with Mark, but it's sounding like you need Sita. get attacked by one of them. 16. It's exactly enough health. Oh, no. Okay. Um... Let's see. And Lena's too far away. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Lena, you're one square away. You're one square. Wait, does someone have a vulnerary? We can make this work. You're running. You're running. You're running out of stuff. Okay. Bars on 
honestly, you're getting to the point where I need to use your steel axe. Oh, great. Thanks, Barst. Thanks for hitting him the second time, clearly. Alright, uh, that's not good. Is there another option? There is another option. It's risky. But we could do... Um... Okay. I got an idea. Taking a risk. We're hoping that the dragon will handle it. Got a little bit of luck. That's fine. That's fine. I had to waste a turn to transform into the dragon, but that's okay. What's your attack of 21? What's your resistance? Six. What's your move? Eight. All right. Uh, do this. Okay. I think that's all I can do. I think that is all I can do. Let's hope it works out. You're attacking Merrick. Okay. He's back out. That works out for me, honestly. That, that's good. That's good. That's really good. You're also running away. Going after Ogma. Okay. Kind of interesting that the archer is stronger. Probably has a better weapon or something. Come on, Abel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sadly, I can't really continue. I got stuff going on. I got a few things to do. But we got an idea of what I need to do. And I think C uh, Sheeta needs to talk to Lorenz. And if that's the case, I have a better idea of what I actually need to do. I don't know if sending Martha around to the left is the best idea. I mean, it works out for him, but... Honestly, I, I'm starting to wonder if I should have Marth hang out here as well. Although, having someone head up here isn't the worst idea. I don't know. I don't know what the best way to handle it is. Actually, you know, I think heading over here is kind of pointless. I think having Marth head back this way, so he can go up and around, would probably work out better. But I gotta call it. I got some stuff to do. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Skyline64. For stream archives, there's a link in the about page. Yeah, uh, hopefully I, I can uh, get more done tomorrow, but I got some stuff to do. Anyway, have a good day.